500 years ago he washed ashore the sole survivor of a shipwreck and upon the skull of the man who killed his dad he said i'm mad i must eradicate piracy injustice and cruelty and all my sons will follow me so evil doers will believe that this Man can G'day, this is x Brand the fan podcast. Our website is chronicletrainer.com and you can subscribe to our podcast via YouTube or through your favourite you podcast apps. Hello, my name is Jermaine and today we are going to be talking to Renee White from Fruit. Uh, we, this is going to be our very special um, pre-Supernova or Sidnova uh, weekend special where we're going to have a bit of a chat, a bit of a discussion about what is going to be available um, for this upcoming weekend. So welcome, Renee. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. And yourself? Yeah, very good. Uh, thank you for joining us um, and uh, very excited uh, for this weekend. Uh, so you've been doing this weekend for a while. Uh, do you still get excited by, by the weekend? Oh, I do. I look forward to the dinners. I mean, I think last dinner was the best dinner we've ever had. I think everybody almost died laughing. Oh, really? Um, so for those, I I personally didn't go last year. Um, obviously, you know, still in between COVID and all that. Uh, so was Antonio on fire with his um, with his ramblings? Oh no, it it was a very fun evening. Quite a few um, laughs to be had there. Oh, nice, awesome. So well. Hopefully, hopefully this weekend uh, will be just as fun. Um, so the reason we got you on is because you are one of uh, of with yourself and uh, Glenn. You own Fruit, and um, so first of all, I don't think we've ever, I don't think we've officially talked on the podcast since that purchase. So on behalf of everyone, thank you for keeping the uh, company and the magazine alive. Um, but so the weekend that we're talking about is not just the Phantom Dinner, but there's also going to be Supernova. And then you've also announced that you're going to be our, uh, the guide for a free open house. So I was just wondering, can you tell us a little bit about uh, the free open house that will be happening uh, this coming Friday? Well, we've got quite a few products already in hand and we're trying to complete some more products by uh, by Friday, um, are you you want me to list the products? Uh, yes, please, please list the products. Okay, so we're we're trying to get done eighteen Phantom World um, um, cards, uh, which is going to be in a similar style to the generation cards. Uh, we still have some of the um, twenty eight generation cards available. Um, we're going to have a fol- the next folio, which is going to have thirteen prints in there. Um, all signed by the artist. Um, we have some back issues of folios if people have missed any out. Uh, we have the Regal Trade Paperback, which, which consists of 256 pages. Um, we, we brought in 50 of them. Um, we've sold quite a few already, so uh, you have the opportunity of picking one up uh, on Friday. Um, we also have a Regal Comic Card set of five in a very nice fandom pack. Uh, only $5. We have the two extension packs for the card game, uh, exp- expansion pack one, Terran Mawatan, uh, for $25, and pack two, Stamus Conto Mullum, for $15. We've got the number three, Shaki comic, for $20. We've got the Nicholas Scott door poster for $60, and we're trying to organise some more Chris Wild uh, door posters, also $60. And we've also got, uh, obviously, some backlog of stock of anybody that's got anything missing. No worries. So the folio, you said that was 13 different artists. Is that Yeah, 13 different artists for um, a cost price of $95. Oh, wow. So um, from memory, I think the previous ones were anywhere between six and eight prints. So this is quite quite a big increase. This is a big increase of 20, of 13 different, uh, artists, um, prints, and uh, they've all signed them. And um, um, normally the prints sell individually for $10 each. So 13 prints, you've got $130. And also the folio uh, itself um, cover would be probably another $10. So it's $140 for $95. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good bargain. Um, 
Are you able to just, you don't have to list all 13, but are you able just to rattle off a couple of those artists? I don't, I, to be honest with you, I don't know the, the, um, the <laughs> artist because Glenn's the one that organised it all. <laughs> Throw you under the bus for that one. I'm sorry. Correct. Anyway. <laughs> That's all right. Not a problem. Um, now, the trading card series that that is likely to come out. Now, Phantom's is that World. Phantom's World. So what's the, what's the story uh, behind the Phantom's World? Well, this is again put together by um, Glenn. Yep. Um, I, I'm assuming Phantom World covers, etc. Um, but it's going to be in the same style of the generation cards, which is those really nice silver um, mm. type cards, which I was really impressed when they came out. Yeah, no, we did a review on those. Um, very, very impressed with them. I believe they got a a good mark rating of four and a half out of five. So that's probably one of our highest ones ever. So um, everyone at Chronicle Chamber and every fan that we've talked to has been very impressed with those. Um, so We yeah, still have a few left. Still have a few left. Uh, do you have any of the uncut sheets left of those? Yes, we do. Okay, no worries. And now the Regal, on the website, the Regal Trade Paperback has been, uh, well, when I last checked yesterday, it was marked as sold out. So you're saying that there's still a couple left uh, which will be for sale on Friday as well? Yeah, they uh, Dudley put uh, 10 aside for Friday. Okay, so there you go, fans. There's only 10, 10 left. Um, now, I believe from our podcast that we did with Reg with the Regal Publishers, they only published 400 of these and Fru have got 50 of them. Yeah. Um, so once they're gone, they're likely to be gone. So make sure you do not delay uh, with those um, now you've also said that there will be uh, back issues so I'm assuming there'll be some back issue posters back issue comics uh, signature series um, and then some of the folders and, um, and and some of that other type of stuff as well the gallery trading card series all that stuff will be available for sale as they'll well. all be available um, on the Friday yep no worries now that, that, that's a great list of uh, products. I appreciate you letting us know that. I know a lot of fans are, are quickly jotting down the prices. On, our, on the show notes and on the website, we'll have a list of, of the new products and of the prices um, so you don't have to keep hitting pause or rewind to try and figure out what the prices were. Um, now, I was just wondering, in the Fruit Open House, now, me personally, I have never been to the Fruit um, uh, offices. I missed out on going to the ones in Castle Castle Ray Street in the CBD as well. Um, could you just now? I believe that you're you're going to be the guide. Are you, is that right? Are you going to be able to show us throughout the offices? Let us know what the process is and like what can yeah, we expect I'll, from the through open I'll, house? I'll be there all day Friday and very happy to help anybody that uh, wants to look at it. Uh, I think any Phantom van, fan will be very impressed with the Phantom. Uh, cave as such. Um, it's got Phantom member memorabilia all on all the walls. Um, some really things that probably some of the fans have never seen before. Uh, a lot of that is actually Glenn's private collection, as well as um, things that we've put up there as promotional of the products that Fru collects or Fru, Fru has available. No worries. That sounds very exciting indeed. Um, I've 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 heard a lot of good stories about Glenn's collection, so it would be nice to be able to see a, a little of it. Um, are you so? If we want to buy anything of that stuff, do we talk to you or do we talk to Glenn? No, <laughs> if, if you're talking about Glenn's collection, I don't think any of it will be for sale. But you can you can talk to him. There's, there's, no, there's no harm in talking. But anything that uh, belongs to Fru will be available. No worries. So will you be? Um, so I was just wondering, with the with the fruit open house, is it just going to be a a place of time to buy stuff, or are we able, and looking at the display, or are you going to be kind of like showing us how a comic gets made, or the process of the comic, or process of the products, or anything like that as well? I'll I'll, I'll be there to try and answer whatever questions anybody has, yep. and happy to show them around. Um, not a problem on that. But uh, one thing I do ask is that they actually ring me to a time because the premises are chock-a-block of phantom stuff and we can't have 50 people turning up at the same time. 
So is it right if I give my mobile number? Uh, if you're happy for your mobile number to be on here, uh, or yeah. we're more than happy for your uh, email address, whatever suits you. So if people want to book in a, uh, in a time <coughs> on Friday, Friday only, you need yep. to contact Renee, and his details are? 0414 46 09 01. No worries. So you heard that. We'll have it on the on the website, the show notes as well. Um, so just again, we stress that you have to book an appointment to be able to go to the fruit open house. And if you can't attend, all this stuff, what's ever available, will be listed on the website probably from the Monday for people to purchase. Is that is that correct in saying, Renee? Well, it depends. It'll, it'll be listed next week or, yeah. or the, the week after Friday. Yeah, so it'll be yeah, so within a couple of days. So it just just means you won't get first dibs, and you'll probably have to pay for postage, of course. Um, Correct. So you're going to. So you've been how how many dinners have you been going? Have you gone to Renee? I've actually gone to every single dinner. Every single dinner. Uh, that's that's amazing. So this is dinner number thirty three, I think, from memory. Correct. Over twenty odd years. So that's a that is a very. Um, that's, that's amazing to to hear. Um, now, will Free be donating anything to the dinner? Yeah, as year? usual, we we will give them a year's signature series n- number one issue. No worries. Uh, and what about yourself personally? Are you donating anything to the dinner? That, I think that's coming from uh, everything to do with Fru. Okay. All right. No worries. Now. Um, uh, so while we've got everyone, uh, if you go to our website, again, the link will be in our show notes. Um, there's not just the fruit office, uh, the fruit open tour, there's also Supernova. So the event for Supernova is Saturday the 18th and Sunday the 19th. Um, at the time of recording the, uh, what do you call it, the, the timetable with the booths numbers and all that of all the creators has not been released. Um, But what we have been able to verify is that the following uh, creators who have got credits for the Phantom will be in attendance. That's uh, Camilo Di Piantrio, uh, Daniel uh, Picciotto, who will be the uh, guest at the Lee Fulton Memorial Bank Gallery Explorers Club dinner, Uh, Jamie Johnson, uh, Alex uh, uh, Tripvesky, now, I can confirm he will be in booth 132 in Artist Alley. Uh, Matt Kime is will be there as well. Uh, and writers Julie Dittrich and Christopher Secure will also be um, at, the, uh, at the convention as well. Now, if you are attending on Saturday, um, basically we will be having lunch, a whole group of Phantom fans, uh, and we'll be meeting at 1 o'clock at Matt Kimes' booth, and then we'll be going to the restaurant from there. You don't have to meet us at Matt Kimes' booth, but if you want to hang out with a whole bunch of fan and fans, we will be there from 1 o'clock. Um, just trying to quickly go through my notes. Uh, there is also a fan catch-up on Friday night, which is at the McEwa, um Hotel. There's a little uh, bar and bistro there, so we'll be meeting from about 7 or 8 onwards. Um, now these here, I've done up a bit of a post, but these are just some, uh, Chronicle Chamber, um, wristbands. We will be giving out 20 of these, but to get one of these, you got to come up to me. Um, I'll be wearing this t-shirt. I'll even wash it, uh, before I wear it. And, <laughs> and um, you got to say the keyword, which is going to be happy phantoming. So if you want one of these cool little Chronicle Chamber wristbands, you got to come up to me on Saturday and say, happy phantoming, and I'm only giving away 20. So I'll be for the first 20 there. So, look, the, the weekend's amazing. We It is an amazing weekend. You will have a lot of fun. You will spend a lot of money. Um, all those artists that we noted uh, will be having prints and signing comics. Uh, I believe some of them will be having original artwork. I believe Matt Kime does. I believe Alex and I believe Daniel will also have some original artwork as well. So go there, check them out. Tell them what you think about their work. Tell them that they're doing a great job. Get some signatures, buy some prints. Um, you know, if you can, go down the Fru Open House. 
get jealous looking at all the amazing collections, uh, buy some products, um, say hello to Renee, to, to Dudley and Glenn, and uh, meet the people that uh, produce the comic. Uh, you will not be disappointed. Um, Renee, I really appreciate you joining us today. You're very welcome. Um, I'm looking forward to the Fru Open House. Me personally, I have not been there, um, so I'm looking forward to it. And um, I'm going to ask Glenn on, on a price of just one item. Uh, I'm going to see if I can haggle with him just, just for one, just to, and then, and then uh, just to see what happens. But uh, it'll be good to see have everyone. Have you got anything in mind? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But um, I'll. I'll, I'll see. I'll see what happens. Uh, he might get annoyed by. He might get annoyed by everyone asking for a price at the end of the, the end of the day. But um, look, it's going to be good fun. It'll be good to catch up with yourself, Renee. Uh, it's been three years. Uh, uh, Glenn uh, and Dudley has also been three years, and a lot of people I haven't personally seen for three years. So, and I'm sure there's a lot of other fans as well that haven't caught up for about three years. Um, before I go, Renee, anything else you want to say, uh, mention, or anything that you've forgotten? Um, other than we still have a lot of um, uh, stock that we keep there on a regular basis, um, if anybody's trying to fill in their uh, gaps in the Phantom uh, comics, I have a large uh, supply of those myself personally. Uh, what Fru doesn't have, I would have. So if anybody wants to fill in some gaps, they're welcome to send an email to me with a list of what they're missing. Um, my email is Rene, R-E-N-E at rcwhite.com.au and I'm happy to send back a list of availability and prices and they can decide for themselves whether or not they want them. Uh, we also, uh, also have several people on a lay-by basis and that is they're just paying it off as they can afford it but we put them aside for them and eventually they'll have um, a near complete collection or as far no, back no. as they want to go. Yeah. Now, on... On social, I saw Andrew um, uh, Constant having the latest giant size comic. Will that also be out um, to purchase uh, as well? I don't know for sure. Okay. Um, I don't know when it's actually coming out or whether it's already out. But if it's out, it'll be there available on Friday as well. No worries. Yeah, that was just one that I did see on social. All right, fans, uh, thank you for listening. Look, if you are going to be there... Uh, on the weekend, make sure you come and say uh, good day to us. Um, you know, we love catching up with fans. We love talking to people, the ones that have, uh, you know, that listen to us on the podcast or um, read what we do on the website or social media. So come and drop drop us a hello as well. Uh, greatly appreciate. Don't forget, tell us the keyword. Happy fansming for one of these, um, and then bring lots of money because I think you will probably be spending lots of money either at Fru as well as Supernova and uh, if you're lucky enough to go to the dinner as well. Um, all this information will be on our website, uh, which is chroniclechamber.com.au. Um, we're on uh, social media, on Twitter, uh, Facebook and Instagram. Uh, and again, you can subscribe to us via your podcast app or via YouTube. That's the other one. Um, look, Thank you for listening. Uh, this will be a quick podcast. Uh, enjoy the weekend. If you don't go, uh, there's plenty of other uh, conventions with Phantom creators uh, around as well. If you're in Perth and you can't go to Sydney the weekend after, uh, there will also be Jamie and Lauren Marshall, who's one of the latest um, cover artists for free. She will be at the Perth convention as well. And uh, comic, the Oz Comic Con is also around as well. There was one in Melbourne last year, uh, last week of recording, and they will be doing some more as well. So, look, Phantom Artists, there's a few of them floating around now, thanks to what Fru have been doing. So, make sure you go out, check them out, say good day to them, ago, uh, buy some friends, get some uh, kind of sign, and let them know that you're doing a great job. Uh, from myself, uh, thank you for listening. Dad, Happy fans me, and Renee, uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. And all my sons will follow me So evil doers will believe That this man cannot die The Phantom The ghost who walks The Phantom Enemies beware The Phantom's always there But you won't find the Phantom He finds